And this is As A Tea Brews. Today we are opening our day three of the matcha advent calendar from David's Tea. So do you want to go ahead and find the number three? Right here. Okay, tell us what it is. Okay, and today's matcha is berries and cream matcha. Ooh, I actually have not tried this one. Okay, so how do you think we should fix this? I think it would be cold. Cold? Good cold. Yeah, I think it's good cold. So we always drink our ma our flavored matchas iced, almost always. I kind of am curious how it is hot. She I'm hot though. I know. <laughs> she just came back from musical theater practice, so they were dancing and stuff. What if we did like half of it iced and half hot and tried it both ways? Let's do that. All right, we're going to do it. We'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so we're all set up, and um, Abby is on this side, <laughs> um, and I'm over here, and she's going to make the iced, and I'm going to make the hot, and we're going to have a taste comparison. So we've put um, about three, I think I have slightly less, um, maybe two and three-fourths matcha spoons, and she's got three matcha spoons, but I tried to split it as evenly as I could. And then, uh, so you need about four ounces of water in that and then four ounces of milk. So um, you'll see the, the eight ounce line. So do about half of that with water and then half with milk. And so I didn't have an, I wish I had, now I wish I had two of those little teapots from Tea Runners because they're perfect to mix this kind of thing. But I'm going to add four ounces hot water. I'm using 160 degree water to mine. Oh yeah, we have to mix it. Da, da, da. And then we're gonna mix them up with our little handheld blenders, mixers, frothers. Frothers, yeah. And it's after school. It's actually about 4:30 p.m. Hopefully the caffeine doesn't keep us up too late. <laughs> so I think that that's good. After you pour your milk in, maybe do um, mix it up a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, and then I did a uh, half a cup of soy, vanilla soy milk. Get in that froth. I know, I'll have the froth, it's although it's not going to come out. Yeah. I need a spoon to scoop some of that froth out. Okay, now I'm gonna pour the cold matcha. I'm gonna do about like I'm just gonna throw an ice cube in both of them, so it can be nice and cold. Ice cubes are sticking together. And then I'm just gonna pour a nice little cup. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera around, and we'll let you know our opinions on both. Okay, so Abby wants to try the hot one first. I don't know how hot it is. It should be too hot. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not bad. I do taste that slight matcha bitterness, but it's also very, like, berry and sweet. It's not very, it's not sweet at all to me, but... <laughs> really? Uh, I think it's super sweet. Mm -mm. Hmm. Not sweet to a 13-year-old. <laughs> she eats too much sugar, I think. Uh -uh. Okay, so let's grab the other ones. So, how about we rate those out of 10, though? Um, I mean, it's hard. It kind of depends on my mood what sounds good, too. I feel like, for me, that was like a 6 or 7 out of 10. I was going to say like a 7. Yeah, because it's like good, but it's not like super good, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's try this one. Ready? This is the cold. Okay. Hmm. I kind of like this one hot better. Hi. Hey, Winston. What do you think? It's almost, it's, you taste the berry, but the berry is actually not as prominent when it's cold. Don't you think? I don't know what that means, but yeah. <laughs> um, like you can't taste the berry quite as much. Mm. Yeah. But it is less bitter since it was cold brewed. I think I like it hot better. I usually like matcha's cold better, but I think this one's better hot. Yeah, I'd say more like a, 
It's still like a six or seven cold, but I think, yeah. I, think I still liked it hot better. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. So I always thought that I wouldn't like the fruity matchas warm for some reason, but I um, actually kind of like it. So I'm glad that we did the little hot cold challenge thing. I want to add that Abby's over there stealing the rest of the hot matcha. So I've got to drink the rest iced. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you've tried berries and cream from David's Tea. If you liked it, hot or cold better if you've tried oh, it. Oh yeah, if you like it hot or cold better. And then matcha in general, do you drink more hot or iced? Yeah. I feel like in general we drink more iced than hot. Yeah, definitely. Like but on this hot summer day, we just want a nice cold matcha. It's just, yeah, it's just like refreshing when it's cold. I have enjoyed my um, hot matchas the last couple of days. So, you know, I guess maybe just because it's cold outside. Anyhow. That's it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.